Hi James, I thought I'd send you a short uh, little video uh, update on a project you inspired me to do with uh, the video you and Steve did on uh, low-tech lagering and decoction mashing. Uh, I guess I'm a bit of a cheapskate as you claim to be and uh, decided to build my own uh, electronic uh, uh, fermentation temperature control. I call it a fermentstat. Um, Anyhow, uh, I have it here sitting beside me, and I'd like to take you in for a closer look. So what I have here is a uh, prototyping board for uh, PIC microchip uh, uh, prototyping. In the center of the board here is the microprocessor. Uh, it's connected through these wires to the LCD, and um, also have a temperature sensor which at some point I've got to figure out uh, how I'm going to make that waterproof and uh, thermally conductive. That uh, comes back to the processor through this pin here. And um, I also have a couple of buttons that I've attached to the processor. Um, and one button that's built into the board that I'll have to uh, bring out when I put it in a box at some point. Um, <clears throat> the display at this point shows that the target temperature is 70 and the actual temperature is 67. I can uh, use the, the left button to bring the target temperature down and um, at some point when the target uh, temperature is below the actual temperature uh, there's an LED here that comes on indicating that um, a relay activating the cooling pump would would be uh, activated at that time. Uh, this button again um, is one that's on the board but will have to be brought out uh, to the outside of a box but it shows that I'm in uh, uh, cooling mode at this point. If I push the right button you can see it switches over to heat. Um, so this could be used in the winter time to uh, control a, a thermal wrap of some sort on a carboy. Switch that back to cool and go to the next menu. Um, I haven't implemented uh, Celsius conversion at this point uh, right now. Uh, I'm primarily interested in Fahrenheit. I will uh, do that at some point. Next menu. Uh, I can adjust the target temperature on this one. Um, I may take this one out since I can adjust it from the, the main uh, control and monitoring menu. Uh, one more time allows me to uh, save the settings. So if I make changes in the other menus and uh, I want those to be saved in case of uh, you know when I power this off and want to reconnect it at another time, I can say uh, push the right button and it goes through uh, saving the settings actually to EEPROM on the chip. Um, now if I were to power off and power back on all the setting changes that I had made would be saved. One more time takes us back to the main menu, uh, the monitor and control mode and you uh, can see the actual fluctuate as it switches uh, between 68 and 70 degrees. So uh, that's pretty much it. So there you have it James. Um, at some point after a little more testing, I'll, uh, I plan to post instructions, uh, uh, the schematic for the circuit, and the source code for the software, uh, for anyone else who might be interested in building their own uh, fermentation temperature controller. So uh, I appreciate uh, what you do with your show. I do watch that other guy, uh, that Australian guy, Sanders I think his name is, but I think we all know who the, the real star in that show is. Anyhow, James, uh, we'll talk to you later. I'll keep you posted on the progress.